guys welcome back to today's video so today I am going to take you guys on yet another shopping adventure a vlog style video I'm actually gonna go to the mall today oh my goodness that should be interesting I haven't been to the mall in so long but I'm actually gonna go to Sephora and the reason I'm going to this one is because I feel like the one in the mall for some reason just hits different we actually started getting a bunch of the individual like free sanding stores and I love those. I just feel like there's a bigger selection at the mall one and I can show you guys more stuff. So I'm excited to take you guys with me and I'm also very excited because I have a sponsor for today's video and you guys this is so cool when I tell you about this. It's amazing. It is called Share a Cart. And you guys know how usually in my description box, I give you like individual links to everything. But with Share a Cart, it is a game changer, okay? It actually takes your entire cart that you're shopping on and creates it into one link so you can shop everything. So if I tell you guys like my wish list and say there's like 8, 10, 15 things, I can literally put it all in my Sephora cart and then create one singular link so you guys can shop everything or like buy the entire cart. It's so honestly genius. When I heard about it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like, how has no one ever done this before? So it's actually a Chrome extension you can add on to your browser. So all you have to do is shop on any site you normally shop on. And they have so many different ones to choose from. Amazon, they have Walmart. Basically, any website you can think of, you can make a link out of your entire cart. All you have to do is download the Chrome extension. It's completely free. And then shop on any website you normally would. For example, I'm going to be at Sephora. So I'm just adding all the items on my wishlist to the Sephora cart. With the extension, when you're in your shopping cart, you literally click one link in the upper right corner. And it gives you that link to share your entire shopping cart. Amazing. Especially if you have like girlfriends and you're like, you want to see what's in my cart? Like, check it out. I have so much cute stuff. Instead of linking each individual thing, you can just give them one link to everything and I think it's so cool so I will have share a cart link down below for you guys definitely check them out for today's video I'm going to link tons of stuff that's on my Sephora wish list right now and we're gonna go shopping and see what we can find so thank you so much to share a cart for working with me on today's video first thank you guys so much for your support it means the world to me that you guys watch my videos and enjoy my content your comments likes support means so much so let's head over to Sephora see what we can find I want to see if there's anything new maybe I will pick up a couple items that are on my wish list and then I will come back home and I kind of wrap up and share with you guys what I picked up so let's head over to the mall and Sephora and see what we can Right, so the first thing I saw is Gwen Stefani's new makeup line. It's called GXVE and I didn't even know about this and I was like, oh my gosh, how did I not see this? Um, it's a really pretty line. A lot of reds because I know that's her color. We also have lots of cool gel eyeliners and I love that all the names are like song names from her song and from No Doubt. So I thought that was really cool. She has these like very, very neutral eyeshadow quads. Nothing that would like really like made me purchase it but it was cool to see and um another celebrity makeup brand <laughs> then i went over to the lip area that they had in the front of the store and this is a new charlotte tilbury lip called like hyaluronic lip and just a couple other ones that they had out i've tried these sephora lip plumpers before they just smell so bad this was a really pretty Sephora lip, oh no, this is an Anastasia lip gloss. This is Grande. This is their next big thing display. We also have some Iconic London highlighter duos and another product from Iconic London. Then we have some Fenty Beauty. Gisu hair oil. I was interested in this. I think this is uh, also on my wish list. So definitely go check out my cart link below so you can see what items I am wanting from Sephora. And Fenty Beauty has a skincare line and I had no idea. How did I not know about this? So we have quite a few fun items here. And I feel I'm so behind. Like I didn't know about any of these launches, but 
um, showing you guys is so fun because you're getting like my real reaction to seeing new products for the first time. She even had a set if you wanted to try some stuff out before buying the full size, a starter set. I always love looking at the Charlotte Tilbury stuff and seeing um, what color she has. I always look at her lipsticks and lip liners as well. This is the new Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez setting powder. I actually heard this was really good. And it's also talc free, which I hope all powders will be talc free. It's awesome. She's very famous for her blushes and she actually just launched these new Warm Wishes bronzer sticks, which looked really nice. I love cream bronzer sticks. They're like my favorite. Makeup by Mario is one of my favorite brands to um, look at and I just really, really love his products and the brushes looked super nice. I have a cream blush by him in the stick form and I absolutely love it. And he did just launch a bunch of new lip products as well, but they've been sold out. Pat McGrath, this is like one of those brands that you can only see at the larger Sephora's like the one I'm at and I did not realize how expensive her eyeshadow palettes were. I was like so shocked, but I actually do have some dupes of this if you guys saw my declutter video. She has some really cool like dual chrome shades. Patrick Ta is also a really fun brand to look at. This palette was also on my wish list. I've heard like mixed reviews on that. Some people really love it. His blushes are really pretty too. They are a cream and a powder, but it's actually like you put it on with the powder and then you put the cream on. Or is it the reverse? I think it's cream then powder. Huda Beauty, another fun brand. I always love what she comes out with. Like her colors and products are just, they're so fun. Like you can't deny that she is really creative with what she puts out and I really admire that. I haven't tried anything from the Glowish line, but I've heard the bronzer is good. And these looked really nice too. They were the blushes. This is Item Beauty, and I had no idea this was by Addison Ray until very recently. I just thought it was like a new brand. I had gotten one in BoxyCharm. These were cool. They were lip glazes, and it seems actually pretty pretty decently affordable for everything. Like that was fifteen, so it's like a nice to see something more affordable. I know it's targeted at like a younger girl too. Ilya, I'm always curious about this as well. I have the setting powder also on my wish list if you guys want to check that out. It is all linked in my share cart. This is a new brand to me too. Uh, Rose Ink from Rosie Huntington. She was like a model or is a model. And she had a really pretty packaging. I just liked how simple it was really nice. I would love to try something from this brand. Just very clean looking. This is Kosas, which I've never tried anything from them yet, but I am curious about the cloud set powder because of course I've heard the hype. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from this brand yet. This is the 15 and under section, which is always fun to shop in. I thought this palette was so cute. Artist Couture. Really fun. These 
cream bronzers from Say reminded me of the Chanel ones. And I thought these were really nice too, the Say cream blushes. I also haven't tried anything from that brand. We have some Tower 28. I've been wanting to try their cream blush too. I just love how many brands are at this Sephora. Like you can see so much stuff here as opposed to the freestanding ones. I've heard really good things about this Dior Powder No Powder. It's supposed to be very blurring. We have the Dior Lip Sugar Scrubs Lip Glow and the Lip Glow Oil, which also went viral. These are $35, so they're definitely pricey. I feel like so many brands are coming out with lip oils as well, too, so I'm sure there's a good dupe. This is Natasha Denona or Natasha Denono. She always has some really interesting products. I loved this palette. Thought it was really pretty. I like that it was like face products as well. This is a new brand that I had not heard of called Calorie. We had a skin tint, some plumping lip glosses. Oh my gosh, and then Jackie Aina's candles smelled amazing. The matcha business one was my favorite. It was so delish. And then I was just looking through some interesting skincare. I really would, wanted to look at Summer Fridays because I love Mariana Hewitt's podcast. If you guys like listening to podcasts, she's on Spotify and she does like a lot of um, like beauty business things. So it's fun to listen to. So I was like, let me go check her stuff out. I know her jet lag mask is like the most popular one. And this is also a brand I hadn't seen or heard of called Beauty Bio. And this is also a skincare line with some tools, different products here, moisturizers. And that is everything, you guys. I also made one last stop because <laughs> it was right by Sephora to go to Lush. And they had so many fun bath soaps. Like, look at this rainbow. And it smelled so good. Oh, I loved this one too. It was like tie-dye cloud. I heard someone say that they just put these in their bathroom just for the scent. And I was like, I love that idea. So if you guys are trying to find a way to spruce up your bathroom, you can just put them in a jar if you maybe don't even have a bath. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys loved today's Shop With Me video. Comment down below. Don't forget also to check out my share cart. Link.